Philadelphia already 87, Wilmington, Lancaster, 86. And and maybe I'll switch to Satellite radar is more. quiet right now. There's just been a few puffing cumulus clouds at times. But things will change as we go into tomorrow evening as we'll watch some energy dipping in from the north, kind of interacting with that extreme heat and humidity. Tonight, clear, warm, rather foggy compared to the last several nights, 67 by morning, in those suburbs, 71 degrees for Center City. So tomorrow is one of those coolish, relaxing under the shade kind of days. Uh, you look at those feel like temperatures and 11 a.m. already 92 degrees, lunchtime 95, and then hovering upper 90s to near 100 the entire afternoon going into the early evening. And speaking of early evening, that's what we'll watch. Again, there is some atmospheric energy to dip in from the Poconos towards New York City, but some of those storms will survive and break through parts of the area during the middle part of the evening hours, and some of these have a chance of uh, being very strong or severe, heavy downpours, gusty winds. Best chance would be east and northeast of the city of Philadelphia. Speaking of storms, we've got Tropical Storm Elsa. Winds 50 miles an hour, made landfall in Cuba early this afternoon. It's over the island right now, the center of the storm, so it has weakened a little bit. Uh, Expected to strengthen as it goes back over the Gulf uh, of Mexico, the makes the second landfall northwestern parts of Florida. And then as it passes by just to our south here, Thursday into a video released today shows the pair near Tendon Walnut last Ooh. Friday morning. Police say they approached a 20 year old man and one of them stabbed him in the neck. The victim was transported to the hospital. He did not know the suspect. If you recognize the women in this video, please call police. Authorities in New Council, Delaware, are working to clear an accident here on New from Team. The truck trail overturned near School Lane at about 3 o'clock this afternoon. Three northbound lanes and the ramp from Route 141 South are all shut down right now. No word yet to how long the cleanup will take. Well, this weekend was a welcome return of pre-pandemic traditions for many. Millions are headed back home after gathering with loved ones and health experts are now worried we may see an uptick in COVID infections among unvaccinated Americans. ABC Marcy Gonzalez has the full details. The July 4th fireworks and parades now over the trek 